everybody. Thanks for watching our video. Last time, we concentrate on the topic fear in the piano business. And it looks like we figure out how to heal it and what to do. And basically, the good tool, the very nice setup, night lightings, uh, and of course, a little knowledge, it's all give you just like the confidence of your work. Uh, today I want to discuss another very important part of uh, our business, uh, let's say design in the piano restoration, how you design your tool. And uh, I show already many devices. Uh, on this example, I want to um, show you uh, the press that uh, works uh, to install the back checks to the keys. and. Uh, we know already that it functions good, and that's the most important thing, is to be function good. And for 12 years that I designed this tool, it works perfect. There were certain things that I didn't like it uh, during time, but you know, it's always busy. And uh, in order to do it uh, completely, I have to wait a little bit uh, for the time. And uh, recently I redesigned it a little bit and make it more just uh, excellent. Uh, and of course, uh, everything is uh, been buffed uh, because it's built from aluminum and brass and wood, and, and I did a painting. And I realized that the tool, besides its functions, is supposed to be built nice. And as you see, I uh, probably on the impression of uh, watching uh, Amazon rainforests, and watching these beautiful exotic birds, I try to uh, implement it here on my tool and uh, make it in the green colors, because uh, we know that we're working in the garage and in the warehouse. We want something bring from the nature to be uh, very nice and give inspiration. That's why uh, I um, uh, remember I built some uh, TV on the stand that I can uh, put uh, different images. Now it's a certain matrix is uh, create some healing process when you work on this one. But uh, as you see, uh, this tool it's already working uh, perfect. It means you uh, just install the key and you press the back check like this, and you see it's done. And if you do all 88 keys, you will see it's very consistent, the height. And the most importantly, this tool protect your wire. It, it means when you hit it with the hammer head, with the hammer, you might bend it. And it's always happened like this. This tool is just consistent and the uh, whole uh, installation probably takes you well, maybe 10 minutes uh, like that. You see, it's just you put it here, just I make it slow, and then press it. And it says, as you see, it's automatically moved the back checks uh, in, inside the cassette. Like uh, I can install the back checks, let's say from the box, you see, I can take whatever, just like eight pieces and install them here. And like this, the rest. And then re release the spring and it's done it's go automatically all like 24 pieces you install it like instantly yeah that's what i uh, try to emphasize on the design today uh, as you see it's a very beautiful very uh, just slim design of this tool it's not a heavy it's probably like you can carry it it's maybe i don't know maybe 16 pounds something like this you can uh, put it on any uh, desired place and work over there and uh, of course it's a really really nice uh, nice just looking uh, tool if all your tool be nice as this one you will you will experience this desire to work because you want to work on this tool and that's going to be probably one of the most important part of the healing process of this unusual 
feel that people are just scared or they don't want to work on this tool because it's not comfortable. And another thing, don't forget that everything makes matter because our job is just very routine. Sometimes we uh, have to uh, perform like 300, 500 uh, different uh, motion. And uh, you can, of course, tired, you can damage your skin and or, or just make some other problems. That's why it's very important. And the most, uh, of course, um, kind of complicated thing that you uh, design the tool and then probably you have to just constantly upgrade it. Uh, once you're working on this tool, you make everything better, like handle, uh, make handle just nicely that it's a really nice touch, uh, support uh, moving parts, like install some ball bearings. But I have to admit that uh, most my tool uh, work from the beginning really good. It's just only it's my personal uh, decision to make them better looks. And uh, of course, I think that it's a very, very just important um, uh, important to make a beautiful tool. And of course, I have to admit that our piano technician uh, uh, journal, they uh, cr uh, create a lot of images like, oh, this piano is beautiful, like made in the country style. And of course, the uh, image of uh, um, nature and the piano is make the uh, people or new members just love these skills or just only only just showing uh, the bridge uh, on the on the grand piano is just uh, a pleasure already to look at these beautiful curves and the uh, pins on the bridge it's a pleasure and uh, of course just looking at the keys it's a very uh, nice and of course the whole product of uh, just our business that uh, in our business that we're dealing with and I hope that uh, the PTG and all the members, they uh, promote this uh, concept of beauty in, uh, in the piano restoration. Thanks a lot, and we'll see you next time.